I'm extremely grateful uh, for the community of believers that we have here at Blackman United Methodist Church and uh, the way that every time I gather with you, I learn something new, uh, something new about myself, uh, something new about uh, one of you, or or most of the time, it's something new about who God is and, and what God wants to do in our lives and in our world. And one of the ways this happens is on is during our Wednesday night Bible study that meets at 6.15 every week. And the, the structure of the class is that we read the, the lectionaries, three prescribed scriptures for the week. Those three scriptures are usually one Old Testament text, one text from uh, one of the four Gospels, and then another text from somewhere else in the New Testament. And we simply discuss those. The insights from this class are always challenging, and they find a way to to inspire me uh, a lot of the time. And this week, uh, we found ourselves in Luke chapter 4, after Jesus has been tested in the wilderness around uh, the Jordan River. He has returned to his hometown of Nazareth. And the story goes that he arrives in the synagogue on the Sabbath. This is his local church on the Sabbath. And he starts to to teach and preach, and everyone loves what he has to say. And one of the things that surprises everyone, though, is that God would choose Joseph's son. And as someone in the class mentioned, not someone of more notoriety or fame or authority to deliver this message of God's salvation to the world. He tells the gathered community that the Spirit of the Lord is upon him and he announces the the mission for which God sent him into the world. That's good news to the poor, freedom for the, the prisoner, sight to the blind, proclaiming the year of the Lord's favor. Everyone loves him and everyone loves all that he has to say at this point. This is the case until he continues talking and begins to tell stories of the Old Testament, specifically the stories of Elijah and Elisha that highlight the ways in which God's presence and power were shared with the Gentiles. Now, in the beginning, the people loved Jesus because he confirmed for them that God's salvation was at hand and they had no problems with what he was saying about himself. But then they got upset when Jesus began to use their own scriptures and stories to tell of how God's salvation was actually available to all people and not just certain people, not just them. They didn't like that Jesus was challenging their sense of of divine privilege, that they were the the only ones whom God loved and was, was giving salvation to. This was something that they held dear. And I know how they feel. I've had those moments where I thought I knew certain things about who God was and and what God is doing. I knew there were certain people who God couldn't possibly love or that some people had done things that, that put them beyond the reach of God. But it was in those moments that the Holy Spirit challenged what I thought I knew and reminded me that the the kingdom of God is is much greater than my ability to fully comprehend it, to embrace the the mystery with humility and allow the Holy Spirit to inspire me to, to live into the purpose for which God was calling me, to live out the mission that God had placed on my life. And my prayer for us is that we use the community that God has given us to to help us grow in our relationships with God, help us grow in our understanding of of who God is and and what God wants to accomplish in our lives and in our world. And in all honesty, this growth might bring with it some uncomfortable moments, moments where the Holy Spirit is challenging us to, to look deeper, and to look longer at who God is and what God is about. 
but my hope is also that the Holy Spirit would change us and transform us, give us a better understanding of who God is and what God wants to do in our world so that we can participate in that work of expanding God's kingdom here on earth. But I hope you all are, are having a great week, and, and I look forward to worshiping with you all on Sunday, either on site or online, beginning at 8.30. Have a great rest of the day, and God bless.